Joe Tamargo from PumpRepairSupply.com. All right, welcome to May 2012, soon to be June. Happy summer. We're just letting you know that me, Robert, and the crew have plenty of bearing pullers in stock. So guess what? If you're looking to take apart your pump and you don't have a bearing puller or you thought your father-in-law had one because your wife was like, hey, don't buy a bearing puller because you know what? My father has one. And it turns out like he didn't have it or it was a steering wheel puller that won't work. You know what I mean? We got them in stock. All right, so these are good quality bearing pullers that do the job. I mean, it's not snap-on tools. I'm sure some of you guys out there have heard of snap-on. It's not the snap-on truck, but hey, it doesn't have the $4,000 price tag as well. That's the nice part, you know what I mean? Usually the bearing pullers are $49, but we've had them on sale for $39 because, you know, we want to give you guys even more of a discount. All right, so what we're going to do today is not only show you the bearing puller, what it looks like, all right, we want to show you real quick on how to put this bearing puller together. I get a lot of people asking me, man, how to put it together. Well, I'm going to show you in like the next two minutes. All right, so you just open up the box just like that. you got three legs that look like this. One, two, three. Okay, you got yourself a center stem with a, a center screw, right? All you got to do there is just put this together just like that. Watch. Bam. One, two, three. See that? Get that going a little bit like this. You got a couple of pieces of uh, two-way things like that. Take your screw. Put it in there just like that. All right, you're going to put the other one on the other side. You're going to take one of your nuts. See that? Just like that, okay? And you're going to do this with all three. So that's one, just like that. I'm going to get another two, another bolt, just like that. I'm going to take it, put it through just like this, put it through the side, put my other piece on the back, just like that. You see that? Now I'm going to take my other nut. Now see how easy this is, okay? $49.95 if you're watching and during maybe, I don't know, some other peak times or something like that, but generally they're $39.95 these bearing pullers. Pretty good. They work for all pool and spa motors most of the time unless you got some freaky weird pool pump that we've never seen. So there's going to be some one random guy on the internet that's going to be like, well, it did work for me. Well, we use this puller in a lot of videos, so check it out. It works for the Haver Super Pump, Cal Spa, a lot of big motors. All right, now I've connected all three of my little dangling two pieces. The next thing I'm going to do is hook up my jaws. Okay, that's going to grab the motor bearing. Okay, so I'm going to take my jaw and just put it like this. I'm going to take my bolt, put it through here, and then I'm going to stick it through my jaw. Now I have to look down from the camera for a second to see what I'm doing. Okay, just like that. Bam, didn't want to look away from you guys. Like, hey, he's looking away, he's looking away. You're trying to get over a fast one on me. All right, so that's what your one jaw, just like that. You're going to take your second jaw, get it ready, just like this. Make sure you turn all your jaws in. That way you're not one, like, you know, like, oh, how do I grab the bearing? I put it together wrong. Okay, make sure you see that. Let me do this little... Okay, all the jaws facing in. You want this L shape facing in. That's very important. Okay, you want to line this up just like that. It might take you a few minutes. Okay, once you get it lined up, you want to take your bolt just like this, stick it through, put your nut on there just like that. Okay, and that's two jaws. And then you got a third jaw, okay, which is right here on the table. I almost didn't see it for a second. I was like, hey, where'd it go? Okay, remember, jaw in, not up, jaw facing in. You want to line up the hole just like that. Take your last screw. Stick it through just like that. Take your nut, put it on there. Now you can see that I put this whole bearing puller together under two minutes. Got a nice center stem. That way you can lock these three movable jaws. See, it extends like that, which is nice. You got the nice through bolt action, and you also get, it comes back and forth and extends. All right, so this is Joe Tamargo from PumpRepairSupply.com. Plenty of bearing pullers in stock. Go to the website, check out, buy a pairing puller, make life easier on yourself. The, you're using the right tools or half the job. Don't be straining with trying to cut it with a hacksaw or crazy things like that. All right, so once again, Joe Tamargo from PumpRepairSupply.com. See you on the next video. Peace.